present for my husband's birthday. I'm taking him on a trip, just the two of us, to Carmel, California. And we're just getting gas and we're on our way. I'm so excited to spend some quality time with just the two of us. We don't really go out of town much, so it's gonna be very fun. I thought you might enjoy some of the scenery, so I'm bringing you along with us and I can't wait to show you everything that we have in store. and give me a gift so that I could actually do an unboxing in the hotel room. So I'm so excited because I now have something from Gucci, which I've never had before. Gucci has been killing it lately. I love so many of their things and I've been, you know, perusing their website and adding things to my wish list. But I'd really put Gucci out of my mind because of my recent adventures with Louis Vuitton. So I'm so excited that I am going to be Gucci-fied after tonight. I can't believe it. So uh, I haven't opened this yet. This is my first time, uh, you know, seeing whatever is in this bag. I had all kinds of things on my wish list. I had belts and, and accessories. So I'm so curious to know what this is. So. Uh, in this bag is oh, oh cute it's a Gucci card we have the Gucci box with the ribbon that has Gucci on it This is like the other box, it's magnetic. And if we open it up, we have the uh, Gucci sticker. So it comes in this beautiful Gucci dust bag and I can already tell, I think I know what it is. It feels soft and rectangular and let's see. It is the Gucci Soho Disco Bag in red. I've wanted this bag for so long. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. This is going to be absolutely perfect. Another thing I love about this bag is that it has the adjustable strap so you can make it as long or short as you want you can make it a crossbody you can just wear it on your shoulder and i love the tassel let's open this up
I've heard that uh, if you don't store this bag stuff that it can collapse a little bit so I will definitely be keeping uh, all of this stuffing to make sure that when I store it at home it will actually keep its shape. So there are a few reasons why this bag has been on my wish list. First of all, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> and I like how big it is because I'm not going to be traveling light anytime soon, most likely. Uh, so definitely the size is wonderful. All the reviews I've been watching show that a lot can fit inside this bag, even though it doesn't look like a big crossbody. It's really a pretty reasonable size, especially given how much can fit. A second reason why I've been loving this bag is because of the pebbled leather. So as I mentioned in my first YouTube video, I have two small boys and uh, there haven't been too many crazy accidents with liquids, but there could be. Uh, and I would like something that can wipe down pretty easily, that isn't going to stain if a little bit of liquid gets on it. I have seen some of the other Gucci bags that I absolutely love, like the Chevron, you know, soft leather. It's beautiful, but I don't think it's quite as practical for me because I don't know if it's going to be as resilient as a pebbled leather would be. Uh, I love the red. First of all, I love red. It's just one of my favorite colors. Uh, and the other colors that this bag comes in are black and beige, rose beige. Uh, so I have a lot of black bags and I don't really need any more black bags. Um, and the rose beige is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. But it is subject to tr color transfer. And so I didn't add it to my wish list, not because I didn't love, love, love that rose beige color, but more that I just wanted to be able to um, wear a bag and not worry about what, you know, if my pants are black. So I can wear this with these pants uh, and not worry as much about the color transfer. Another reason I really wanted this bag was because the logo is a little bit subtle. So I actually love the Gucci Marmont logo and I love the new bags, but I do appreciate that this bag is a little bit more understated. So you have the Gucci logo obviously, but it's not quite as, um, as loud. And if you wanted to go even more understated, you could wear the bag with the Gucci logo against you and then you don't have the logo at all, but it's still a beautiful red leather bag. I actually had heard some rumors that they were going to be discontinuing this bag, so uh, I'm really excited to have it because I decided to go for a Louis Vuitton bag as my first designer handbag, and I recognized that I was taking the chance that I might miss out on the Gucci Soho Disco because it might be discontinued by the time I could buy another designer handbag. Um, so I'm so excited that uh, I am not going to have that problem anymore. <laughs> I'm so glad I got to share this unboxing with you. This is such an am amazing surprise. I cannot wait to wear this on our trip. I guess I'll have to be transferring some of my goodies into this bag.
after a wonderful night last night, it's time to go do some sightseeing. We'll be going to Pebble Beach and Monterey, and I'll include a few little snippets of the beautiful scenery up here in Northern California. I hope you enjoy it. After a wonderful vacation, it's time to go home. I'm sad that our vacation is ending, but I'm really excited to see the kids too. But first, we're going to be stopping at one of my husband's favorite steak places in Napomo, California. This restaurant is super casual, so I'm dressed accordingly, and I'm carrying my new friend, the Gucci Soho Disco. Mm -hmm. 